Hello to all you campers and counselors out there watching from home this year. My name is Super Soar. And my name is Wonder Wind. We hope you are having a great day and we hope that you guys are staying safe out there while we adjust to this new way of Camp Soar this year. That's right, Wonder Wind. While we wish we could all be together this year at camp, making crafts, singing camp songs, and playing games with all of our friends, right now it's safer for all of us to stay home, wash our hands, and practice social distancing. Oh, and super sore. Don't forget all the dance parties, the swimming, getting messy, and eating s'mores. Yum. While we are so sad we won't be together in person at camp this year, we are so excited to be joining you for this very special Camp Sorrentine this year, and we wanted to share our story with all of you. This is our very first time coming to Camp Soar, and we are so happy to be telling you guys our story today. So we're going to tell you a little bit about who we are and why we are wearing these funny costumes um, and how we became da, 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 Camp Soar superheroes. And we hope that all of you will help us from wherever you are by doing the actions and making the sounds with the story. With the, ma with the magic of modern technology, we can pretend to all be in front of the Camp Soar campfire. And all of you can help us while we tell the story. Many of you may be wondering why we are in these silly superhero clothes and where did they come from? Well, that's what we're here to tell you about. Our story begins several months ago when I was just a regular guy. And I was a regular girl before we became our superhero selves. It was around that time that Dr. Nancy started hearing news reports about a new disease that was making lots of people sick. This wasn't just any old illness like a cold or flu. This was something new and different, something called the coronavirus. <gasps> Uh-oh. Well, as a medical doctor, Dr. Nancy knew it would be important to find a way to help all, everyone stay safe and healthy while this new virus was making so many people sick. So she decided to call her good friend and fellow health professional, Nurse Ingrid. Together, they would think of a way to help their friends and family and Camp Soar campers stay safe. So, Dr. Nancy called Nurse Ingrid and asked her if she had any ideas. Nurse Ingrid! We need to do something about this new coronavirus problem. A lot of people are getting sick. Nurse Ingrid thought that was a great idea. You're right. It is becoming a big problem, and I have an idea. We should assemble the Camp Soar Health Squad. So, Dr. Nancy and Nurse Ingrid called their good friends, Nurse Debbie, Lindsay, and Chrissy, their friends from Camp Soar, to see if they had any ideas. They couldn't think of anything at first, but then Nurse Debbie said, this is a really super problem. And Lindsay and Chrissy looked at each other and said, that's it, it's a super problem. If we have a super problem, we need a super solution. A superhero solution, brilliant. Yes. So, the Camp Soar Health Squad decided they would hold a superhero competition to find two people that could become the new superheroes to teach about how to protect themselves from getting sick. They knew they needed to find two people who were brave and smart and strong that could spread the message about how to stay healthy during camp. The great Camp Soar Superhero Competition started with over 100 people from all over the world, each trying to prove that they have what it takes to be a health superhero. There were so many people that joined the competition and they were all so awesome and everyone was friendly, but we knew we had to do our best to show them that, it, that we have what it takes to be a superhero. The first challenge was to see who was fast like a lion. Can you roar like a lion? Roar! With a problem like this virus, we need heroes that can get quickly from place to place to tell everyone 
about what they can do to stay safe. With all, so we all had a big race where we had to go as fast as we could. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. That was good. The second challenge was to see who was strong, like an elephant. <laughs> Can you make us sound like an elephant? Our heroes need to be strong so that they can help others when they aren't feeling well. So we had an exercise competition. The third challenge was to see who was smart, like an owl. Can you make an owl noise? This new virus would need smart people to think about how to protect everyone from getting sick. So everyone in the competition had to answer some difficult questions. What is two plus two? Four. What has hands but doesn't clap? A clock. What is easy to get into but hard to get out of? Trouble. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear! Ooh, some of those were tough. The, the next challenge was a strange one. We had to eat as many s'mores as possible in under one Ooh. minute. I don't know why this challenge was included, but Dr. Nancy insisted on it. Hey, Super Sore, you were pretty good at that, weren't you? Uh-huh. Oh, jeez Louise. Anyway, after the challenge, there was only a few of us left. So the Camp Star Health Squad told us that the final challenge was the most important challenge of all of the challenges. That's right. The final challenge was the hand washing challenge. We had to wash our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds like this. Can you wash your hands? Don't forget the back of your hands your thumbs, and your fingers. Washing your hands regularly is one of the best ways to keep yourself healthy. And if you have to cough or sneeze, oh, that's right, Super Sore, do it in your elbow. After the hand washing competition, the Camp Sore Health Squad inspected everyone's hands. And Wonder Wind and I had the cleanest hands of all. That's right! We showed that we were fast, strong, smart, brave, and that we had clean hands. So we were picked to be... Super Sore! And Wonder Wind! Hope you enjoyed our story, and we hope you are all staying safe and healthy. And we hope that you have fun with all the other exciting Camp Sorrentine activities that we have planned for you this week and next week. And we can't wait to see you next year. Stay, Stay healthy, safe. Camp Sor. <laughs> <Just> camp Sor. <laughs> 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 <laughs>